All right, hello all. Um, today we're going to look at the equation of a straight line and we're going to work with that general form. If you remember the last lesson, I said the general form for an equation of a line is y equals mx plus c. Okay, y is the y coordinate, x is the x coordinate, m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept or the value of the y-coordinate when it crosses the y-axis okay funnily enough when something crosses an axis x y and this is a really good point to remember if it crosses the x-axis then the y coordinate is zero. So if you have a pair of brackets and you have a zero in there, um, it could be crossing the x axis. And if you have something that crosses the y axis, then clearly the x coordinate is going to be zero because this is the origin. We call this the origin as well. Um, but it has coordinate zero, zero. So if it crosses the x axis, the y coordinate is zero. If it crosses the y axis, the x coordinate is zero. But anyway, um, that's just something really useful to remember sometimes because they chuck that into questions. So what we're going to do is we're going to I'm just going to do a couple of examples and we're going to try and find out the equation of the line. Now we don't have to find out y and we don't have to find out x because they change when x changes, y changes. But the gradient is always fixed and the y-intercept is always a fixed value. These are the two values we need to work out. And we can do that. I've shown you a method to work out the gradient. And now what I'm going to add to that is a method to also work out the y-intercept, okay? And it's just a little bit of substitution. If we have an x-coordinate, the gradient, and a y-coordinate, then I can substitute all those numbers into my equation and work out what the y-intercept is. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that. So find, here's the first example. Example one. Find the equation of the line that has, and they're going to give us some information, a gradient three, so they've told us what our m value is, and passes through the point 10, 25. So what that's telling me is the x coordinate is 10 at this point and the y coordinate is 25. So if I were to substitute 10 into this equation, I should get 25 out as an answer. If I have my m value, m equals 3, my x value is equal to 10 and my y value is equal to 25, don't make the mistake of mixing up x and y values. Whatever the coordinate is, that's your x value, that's your y value. Sorry, equals, let's do this properly, y equals 25. Now what I can do is substitute these values in to my equation and find out my c value. And remember, I'm trying to just write this as an equation of a line. So my y value equals 25. So I put in 25 instead of y. My m is 3. I'm timesing that by my x. My x is 10. So instead of writing x, I write 10. And then all that, so I've substituted in the three values I've been given, but I don't know what the c is, so I do plus c. Now all I need to do is rearrange this to find out what c is. So 25 equals 3 times 10 is 30, 30 plus c. If I 
hold on a minute oh, my computer's just giving me a bit of hassle um right if i take away 30 from both sides then i'm just going to be left with my c on the right hand side 25 take away 30 is minus 5 so my c value must be five, minus 5 so now that i have all my values remember x and y stay as x and y because this line will have a lot of points on it i can't just use 10 and 25 that's just one coordinate so my my equation of this line is y equals the gradient stays the same so it's 3x and then my c value is minus 5 and that's my general form for the equation of this line this is the general form for the equation of a line this is this line this specific line okay right sometimes they don't give you the gradient and what they do is they give you two coordinates but we can find out the gradient because we did that recently between two coordinates we worked out how to find the gradient so my second example is find the equation of the line that passes through the points four nine and eight seventeen. Right, so the first step, I've been given an x coordinate and a y coordinate, and funny enough, I've been given two of them. But I only need to use one when I'm working out the c. I don't need both of these coordinates. I do need both of these coordinates to work out my gradient. Remember, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I need to label these my x1 value, my x2 value, my y1 value, my y2 value. And then I substitute them into my equation or my calculation to find out my gradient. So y2 is equal to 17, y1 is equal to 9, x2 is equal to 8, x1 is equal to 4. 17 minus 9 is 8, and 8 minus 4 is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So I've now got my gradient. But now I've got my gradient, and I've got an x coordinate, and I've got a y coordinate. I can go back to the previous question and then just do what I did before. M, I might have to give myself a bit of space. M equals 2 let's pick one of these coordinates x equals 4 usually the one with the nicest numbers and y equals 9 and then I pop it into my general form of the equation y equals mx plus c and I'm trying to work out what c is so y is equal to 9 m is equal to 2 2 times my x value which is 4 and then I've got my plus c which is what I'm trying to work out 2 times 4 is 8 to solve this and find out what c is I need to subtract 8 from both sides 9 take away 8 is 1 and I'm left with c equals 1 so now I have my m value now I have my c value I can write it in the general form of an equation y equals 2x plus 1 and that's my answer okay use these examples to help you rewind watch again rewind watch again however many times you need to do it okay um, and then have a go at the questions on the worksheet all right any problems let me know and I'll do what I can to help you.